thank you Jesus thank you King of Glory thank you ancient of day David said I will offer the sacrifice of my lips let the heavens hear your lips this morning appreciate him magnify his name exalt him on high worship him for who he is the king eternal the unchangeable God the one who speaks and it is done the Alpha and the Omega all power belongs to him oh worship him worship the majesty of heaven worship the God who reigns supreme worship the Prince of Peace worship the Holy One of Israel worship the Lion of the tribe of Judah give him praise give him glory exalt him on high he's our God he changes not the Bible calls him the God of Jeshurun because he rides upon the wings of the cloud to our help he's the very present help in the time of need he's the God that answers our prayers he's the God that answers by fire he's the unchangeable changer he's the God that can reverse the irreversible oh it doesn't matter how long a matter is when God steps into the matter it must bow to this God that we serve give him praise and glory worship his majesty thank you my father see what you've done for me see how you set me free you are you are the living God it's in the world what you've done, see what you've done for me. See how you set me free. Me free. You, you are the living God. Thank you, Jesus. It's yes. in the world like you. Listen, brethren. The songwriter experience God life that's why he said you are the living God it's something to know that God is there somewhere it's another thing to know that God is alive not because it's written in prints but because he has manifested himself to you personally may I prophesy into your situation that today your situation will receive divine visitation. Hey, Kabo, Sarabataya, Bataya, Bataya. Lift up your voice, say, Father, arise this morning. Let my situation know you are alive. Oh, Makiri, Bato, Sarabataya, Gabramata. Let my enemies know that you are alive in my life. Let my situation know that you are alive. Oh, 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 Prove yourself this morning. Prove yourself this morning. I want to see you alive in my situation. Alive in my home, in my family, in my matter, in my body, in my health. I want to see you alive. 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 Thank you, King of Glory. Blessed be thy name for our Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. May I decree any stranger in a post anywhere in your body, today they will come out by fire. I visited somebody, I think two or three days ago. Praise the name of the Lord. And in visiting that elderly woman, 
praise God, I remember the testimony of what God had done because I remembered when diabetes was a challenge ravaging the whole family and taking them one by one till it got to that woman and we cried to God, praise the name of the Lord. I was at that place, I went to see her and she was still testifying. Every time the only thing that troubles me is that my sugar goes low and I have to take more. I remember that day, yes, back and God is still keeping covenants. Lift up your right hand to the King of Glory. I pray for you. I pray for anyone in your circle. Whatever disease, whatever affliction, whatever is ravaging their body, today let them come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. Cry to God, say, Father, every plant you have not planted in my body, you have not planted in my home, you have not planted in my family. Oh, my father, today let them be uprooted, uprooted this morning, uprooted this morning. I must make glorious advancement. Hey, make a post on avatar. Uprooted this morning, my father, in the name of Jesus. Every satanic stranger that they have sent into my life, sent into my body, sent into my family to hinder us, oh, to slow us down, in couple of us, to distract our movement, to distract our progress. Today, let them be uprooted. Uprooted. Today let them be uprooted. Today let them be uprooted. Today let them be uprooted. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Please, can I give you an advice? Every time you pray to God, expect Him to answer by fire. We are not praying for praise sake. We are praying because unto him shall all flesh gather that answers what? Prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. And God answers prayers. Praise the name of the Lord. God answers what? Prayers. I don't know where we are go going this route. But I, I believe God wants to do something. Praise the name of the Lord. I remember we received news from a far country concerning a man that cancer had taken. In fact, when they sent me the picture as a medical person, I refused to show it to his loved one because it was terrible. His wife there had given up on him. Praise the name of the Lord. Then we began to pray and we contacted everyone we knew that could pray. Then we got a pastor that was on ground in that country to go there, to be there physically too, to be praying. While prayers were being made here, we were pouring our prayers to God. But the mercies and special grace of God is still alive, he's doing well, he's kicking, buying houses, doing things up and down. I prophesy to your life, every satanic arrow that they have sought to bring sorrow to your life, today God will destroy is the God that changes the unchangeable, reverses the irreversible, makes way where there's no way. Is the God that performs all things for us? Lift up your voice, Father. My all will not be too difficult for you. I rise this morning, my Father. Answer my prayer. Visit my situation. Change my story. Give me a turn around. I must make progress this year. I must make progress this year. Thank you, King of Glory. Blessed be thy name forevermore. In Jesus' name we are praying. It's time for testimonies. Lift up your two hands to God. You know the meaning of that? You are going to talk to God now. I'm just going to speak in tongues. And you are going to come back with a testimony. Whatever is the desire, no matter how impossible. You are not praying to me, for I have no power of my own. But we are praying to our God that answered it by fire. Lift up your voice. What is that thing that you need God to do for you? Let him settle it now. Promoto Copro Cotorica Santa Yanada, 
e kaprakato sobrogoto ne kaprakata malise ke prena huri ka pruma huri ka prada ya marise ke prena huri ka prula huri ka pruka tori gata danana masaka prakato sobrogoto siata oh thank you my father kaprakano wo sana mataya da blessed blessed ayanga bo saka prakano mataya glory be to your name in jesus mighty name we have prayed god has answered your prayers or not just because i want to say it as we began to pray i saw fire raised rising up and as we ended the prayer i saw the rain coming down receive your miracle in the name of jesus christ and my shakaraba say father i receive and i say thank you glory be to your holy name in jesus name we are praying celebrate the ancient of days magnify his name give him praise and glory hallelujah god bless you please be seated first chronicles chapter 11 verse 9 first chronicles 11 9 scripture for our team so david waxed greater and greater for the lord of hosts was with him. I love this design diagram. Praise God. When I received the message, so I took time and I was watching yesterday and I saw the diagram. I drew the diagram here. I won't show you my drawing because it's not it can't be compared to this drawing. It's a caricature drawing. But it says something that we're going to get there. Praise God. David did what? Waxed greater and was greater. For the Lord of hosts was what? With him. Of course, to advance means to move forward in a purposeful way. So move forward what? In a purposeful way. That is to make progress positively. Praise the name of the Lord. Intentionally. Praise God. That means this month you must shake yourself and tell yourself I will make progress. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, there was something I had wanted to start for years, many years. I had the skills, I have the skills, I have the training, everything. But it kept eluding me every year. Until one year, I believe this kind of message came to me and told me, it is because you have not checked yourself you have not made up your mind to arise and do it. Because the same problem that stopped me from doing this last year was the one that stopped me the year before and was still there. So I made up my mind. No matter what is happening, I will what? Arise. And I will make progress. Can I prophesy to you? An uncommon idea will visit you this month. Let me tell you the truth. When an idea of greatness comes and it looks like the challenges are too much, you know that truly it has come. It's your breakthrough. It's your breakthrough. It's your breakthrough. Apostle Paul said an effectual door, great effectual, has been opened up to me. But there are many words. Sir, the reason that there are challenges is for you to be sure this is of God. Not for you to pull back and say, what will I do? Where will I get the money? Sir, Ma, the one who gave the vision has prepared the money somewhere. Can I prophesy to your life? Ah, before there's a need, God will bring out water for you from the rock. Somebody didn't hear me. Water is coming out of the rock for you. You know the meaning of that? Those who have refused to help you, they will, know, they will not know when they will begin to help you. In the name of Jesus, please be seated. Please be seated. God bless you. Praise the name of the Lord. So we must make what progress. Hallelujah. 
let's go back to our design I need you to follow me this 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 is getting better whosoever is in darkness cannot make progress Not to talk about glorious advancement. If you are in darkness, you can't make the kind of progress God wants you to make. Praise God. If you don't know anything about what you are doing, you cannot make the progress that you ought to make. Praise the name of the Lord. I, I, I will together. That's why this. You are coming out of darkness. My people are destroyed for lack of us. That's darkness. What you don't know. That you cannot get. Praise God. Hagar, I think that's her name, the maid of Era, Abraham's wife, went after she had been sent out, was with her son. Am I correct? They become, became testy. Am I correct? And they were about to die. Praise God. Until God did what? Opened her eyes and she saw what a well. Sir, please, ma, I know many of us will know the scriptures more than us, but please enlighten me. Did the Bible says, and God now dug a well there or created a well there or did a bracadabra and well appear there? The well was always there, but her eyes. Did not what see it. Stand on your feet. Thank you, my father. Hey. What you are not seeing that must take you to your higher ground. Today, let God open your eyes. Can I pray for somebody? What they have denied you the knowledge. God will raise men that will bring the knowledge to you to bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. That man was sick with a palsy. Sir, Jesus was in town. He never knew. But four of his friends heard the news. They came to him. They carried him. Took him to Jesus. Too many people. They climbed. They carried on the shoulder. They climbed. They got to the roof. They could not enter. They broke the roof. They brought him down. Put him in front of Jesus. We will not live here until you answer this man. That kind of helper that will not rest until you are blessed let God look at your life somebody's not listening to me there's a form of darkness when you lack help us you can't move forward the way you want to move forward lift up your right hand to God say father every helper of my destiny wherever they are on the face of the earth I begin to move them, move them, move them. Ah, Baba, move them to locate me and bless me and raise me up and give me the idea and support me in the name of Jesus. My purpose of destiny that will bless my ministry, that will raise me up in life, ah, that will enlarge my course. Father, let them locate me in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The light of God will shine on you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Acts chapter 9. When there's darkness, you can't make the progress you want to make. Acts chapter 9. Verse 1 to 9. And Saul, yet breathing out threatenings and slaughter 
against the disciples of the Lord went unto the high priest and desired of him letters to Damascus follow the story to the synagogues that him that if he found on of any of this way whether they were men or women he might bring them bound unto Jerusalem and as he journeyed he came near Damascus and suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven and he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? and he said, who art thou Lord? and the Lord said, I am Jesus whom thou persecutest it is hard for thee to kick against the pricks and he trembling and astonished said, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? and the Lord said, arise go into the city and it shall be told thee what thou shalt do and the men which journeyed with him stood speechless hearing a voice but see no man verse 8 and Saul arose from the earth and when his eyes were opened he saw no man but they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus and he was there three days without what sight neither did he what eat nor what nor drink Leonard man professional degree high status connected man that's who Paul was Paul was not Peter he was learned he knew his stuff he was connected he was serious but guess what he was walking in darkness Jesus told him you will keep kicking against the you can't move forward you can't make glorious progress advancement if you are in what darkness so God in his infinite mercy made him blind for three days let him understand that is not about your connection your position or your education if you don't have the light you have nothing and let me stand on this exalted altar of the living God and, and, and make you understand Jesus is the light that's why I said I am Jesus he told Paul if you don't have him you have what? nothing it's not about you can come to church 200 times in fact you can come to church more than the pastor and the pastor's wife I celebrate you ma thank you so much ma um, um, you came in while I already started I celebrate all the ministers God bless you ma it's a great privilege to minister when your mom is here but you know he gives us comforts that our mom is standing by us I pray for you today sir every prayer we pray for you by the unction of the Holy Ghost you will come back with testimonies so it's not how many times you come for program if you don't have Jesus the light you can go far if you are playing around today you come tomorrow you go and dance with the devil you can go far praise God that's what Jesus told Paul you have many things you have said that you have put your trust in but without the light they will all fail that's why from that day Apostle Paul said it's not more me but the grace of God that is what walking through me praise the name of the Lord you will make progress in the name of Jesus but the light of Jesus must shine in every area of your life advice number one stop compromising your Lord and your Savior stop what compromising stop it it's not allowing you to make a glorious advancement oh my father have you noticed we call programs we have many people coming for the programs they go they come they go they come they go they come now sometimes you ask what's the matter 
But Timaeus will be able to explain to you better. He was blind. He heard Jesus was coming. He began to scream. Sa, ma. He got to know there were many people coming to because those were the voices that said, keep quiet, keep quiet. He said, no. Darkness, there's no compromise with darkness. I know the meaning of darkness. It has kept me down for years. I'm not going to stay in darkness anymore. He screamed out louder. And Jesus paid attention to him. Many people were around Jesus. None of their miracles were recorded. But the man who made up his mind that darkness, I will no more go with you. He got his blessing that day. Please stop compromising darkness will never allow you to make glorious advancement never no matter how little the compromise is a little living does what living at the whole lump bible says that a little fly that falls into the apothecary it spoils the whole ointment one little fly i've worked in a uh, you know i was privileged i think it was evans at that time to work in a manufacturing you know plant and when we were preparing syrups and all that because i'm a pharmacist so just one little fly that touches that thing everything is gone everything is gone So that's one little thing that you are playing with. I bring the advice from the throne room of God. Leave darkness alone. Stand out of it. Thank you, my Father. Do you know the first prayer point God gave me? Even before I began to study, woke me up in the night with that prayer point praise God that you should pray that darkness must leave you alone if God opens our eyes to know the heights we should be flying that darkness has prevented us you know what I mean by darkness every compromise whether you want to call it lie or you want to call it fornication or you want to call it flirting or you want to call it stealing or you want to call it I arrange you know whatever you call it it will not allow you to make progress praise the name of the Lord thank you Jesus I want to pray for somebody Please listen. Listen. As I was talking just now, it showed me that somebody's hands has been corrupted. But because you are here this day, this morning, God wants to clean up your hand. Because what has corrupted your hand is not allowing you to possess what you should possess. Thank you, my Father. Oh, thank you, my Father. Bow down your heads. You know you have put your hand into what you should not put your hand. You are the one I'm going to pray for. Please, you are not coming out. This is not an altar call. We are praying because today we must move forward. <clears throat> Close your eyes. Don't look at me. I'm not fine. There's nothing to look in me. Close your eyes and focus on God. You know you are here. You put your hand into what you should not put your hand. But God wants to turn you around. Because there's a greater blessing he has prepared for you. If you are that person, place your right hand on your chest. God bless you. I want to pray for you. My father, my father. You are the God of a second chance. That reverses the irreversible. Every uncleanness everything that has corrupted the power of your children their hands today let mercy wipe it away in the name of jesus christ by the power in the blood of the lamb i declare the evil that came upon you let it be reversed in the name of jesus christ thank you my father 
Karamashata. Cry to God, say, Father, I have made up my mind. I see, let's back it up with scripture. Amos chapter 3, verse 3. Can two work together except they be agreed? It's not possible. Say, Father, I have made up my mind. I will not walk with darkness anymore. Darkness, leave me alone. In the name of Jesus Christ, go ahead and talk to God. I separate myself from everything called darkness, compromise, every sin. In a person of I separate myself. I separate myself. I separate myself. I separate myself. Leave me alone, darkness. I must make progress. In the name of Jesus Christ. Opa Kapo Sanabatayata. Thank you, my father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. That was prayer point number one. Prayer point number two. Look at this man. Please look at him. Can you see him? What is he doing? He's going higher. Because progress. In fact, glorious advancement means not just going forward, but going what? Higher. Can you see him? Look at his face. Where is he looking? A target. He wants to get to the target. But God showed me something. There are things here that have assignments. Do not let him get to the top. That's why some people experience what you call rising and falling. There's a fire, the Bible says, that goeth before God that consumes what? All his enemies. Whatever is waiting for you on this place to bring you down, that fire of God will locate there. Cry to God, say, Father, every satanic manipulation to pull me down as I rise. Let them be consumed by fire. Let them be consumed by fire. Let them be consumed by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. In your business, in your ministry, in your endeavor. Whatever is pulling you down. Whatever is working against your movement. Whatever is troubling your advancement. Let the fire of God locate them and consume them. Destroy by fire. Destroy by fire. Destroy by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Namasoka prakatora dosa. In Jesus' name we are praying. I'm a kata. Can I pray for somebody? The one that rose up and said that you will never get there. Sir, you will climb upon them and get there. Say, Father, every opposition to my glorious advancement, subdue them all, deal with them all, destroy them all, subdue them all, deal with them all. Destroy them all. Subdue them all. Deal with them all. Destroy them all. Mashaya kaprakata yada. Eke prakete sheke prakete rebrata. Da prakato kro proko sheke prakete rebo shata. Ena maka prakato sheke prakete rebo kachata. Deal with them all, my father. 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 Eke proko to sheke prakata kata. In Jesus mighty name we are praying. Even the Bible says this is he that endures to the end that will what? Get the crown. The devil knows. I remember some years back when some of my friends started the business. I was abroad then. And because challenges came in the business they wanted to abandon the business. Praise God. So they were you know sending messages can you send some things to us so that we can, you know, sell here in Nigeria? And, you know, because, I mean, this business is not, praise God. But because they were children of God, somehow they tarried. By the time I came back to the country, when I went to their office, they had just come back from a training that they sent uh, their staff to. I think somewhere in Cardiff or somewhere, somewhere in the United Kingdom. The business they wanted to abandon, praise God, had turned out to become what? An overflowing well. Praise God. I'm on assignment in somebody's destiny today. 
that where you are losing hope ah the river will begin to flow again every blessing that has dried up in your life I decree by the unction of the waters from today let your river arise and flow again in the name of Jesus Christ there's revival for businesses there's revival for businesses I prophesy over the ground of your ministry over the ground of your business over the ground of your endeavor let it break forth a thousand fold in the name of Jesus Christ the ground refused to bring forth for everybody. But Isaac came there and sold again in that land and it brought forth. What others are complaining about from this day as you leave this place, sir, you will begin to testify. Lift up your voice to God, say, Father. Oh, loud and clear, say, Father. I must make glorious advancement. Whatever has not been working, let them begin to work like never before. Let them receive the touch of God. Let them receive the revival of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I see the finger of God moving in the midst of his people to revive the businesses, to revive your ministry, to revive your dream. To bring forth your breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, blessed Redeemer. Glorify your holy name. Thank you, ancient of days. Blessed be thy name forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Guess what? The more the light is shining, the easier and faster. It is to what? Make progress. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18. It says that the path of the just is like what? A shining light that what? Shines what? Brighter and brighter unto what? The perfect day. That will be your story from today. Can I pray a prayer for you? You will never know a better yesterday. That did you pray the prayer for us? I think it was two Holy Ghost services back. When I was the last one, he said, Every day there will be what? A new miracle. How many of us? Oh, my car, brother. You heard it. You heard it. Ah, when you prayed that prayer, I said, Every day. And then the scripture backed it up. Adamus must come to pass. From now, every day will get better and better for you. Say, Father, by the power in the word of God, from today, every day will get better and better for me. I will make progress on every side. I will possess to the left. I will possess to the right. New ideas come to me every day. Greater opportunities arise for me every day. In the name of Jesus, it doesn't matter the testimony I have of yesterday. My testimony today will be greater than my yesterday's. In the name of Jesus Christ. And by tomorrow, a greater testimony will arise. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Father. Glory and honor be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You know our definition of advancement told us that it is progress that involves what purposeful what movement. Purposeful. Why? Meaning, there's a goal. There's a destination. Thank you. This was not in my sermon. Let me ask you a question. You want glorious advancement? 
want greatness. You want abundance. You want the blessings of God. Why do you want it? Jesus said something very important. When you ask for, for something, something because you want to consume it on your lust, you're wasting your time. When you want that blessing because you want to go and show that you are blown, God is not there. But when you want it to advance the kingdom, God stands there getting back with you. Can I advise you? From experience, I started giving when I didn't have money. From 20 Naira, I remember vividly 20 Naira. In fact, in those days, if somebody gives me 20 Naira, gives me 100 Naira, when I get home, I will roll on the floor and thank God. Roll on the floor and thank God. I'm standing on the altar of God. Praise God. The only native I had at one time, God said, look at that brother. He doesn't have any clothes. Give him that native. I went. I dry cleaned it. I gave it to him. I have come to notice. If all you are thinking about is yourself, forget it. There was a woman in the scripture that needed a child for herself. Penina has been boasting with me. God opened this door. I must show Penina. God, it was not. But the day she took her eyes off herself and said, ah, we don't even have a prophet in the land. God, if you give me this child, I will give him to you. So that he can be who you want him to be. That day, God answered her. Can I ask, announce to somebody that day of answer is today for you? Father, I stand this day on this living altar of the God. Of God. The altar of the redeemed Christian Church of God, the altar of covenant. Ah, that very blessing, my father, that will bring an end to the sorrow and tears in the life of your children. Today, my father, release it today in the name of Jesus Christ. Let God be true and all men liars. I stand upon the oxen of God over my life and I prophesy to you wherever you are, what you have been waiting for, you will wait no more. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. Ah, I heard or Runti she. The heavens are open. In my cup and attire, whatever I said no to your blessing, today I declare yes to your blessing, yes to your progress, yes to your advancement, yes, you will carry your blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. Your tears of sorrow become tears of joy in the name of Jesus Christ. In the those that look down upon you from today, God will lift up your head. In that family, where they don't reckon with you anymore, the blessing of God is coming upon you. You will be the one to announce the name of your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
In the Makere Bado Sanama Kataka Prakata Shana Mataya Dada. Hey, Sanana Kabrana Nadosa take a bricket and about Sanana Mataya Dada. He Kaprosa can take a bricket, take a bricket, take a bricket, take a bricket, take a day. Let the yoke that has hindered your progress be destroyed now. Be destroyed now. Be destroyed now. By the anointing of God in the house, let the yoke be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ. What we waited for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. Shut up, Rakataya. See what the Lord has done. Shut up, Rakataya. What we waited for. Am I not going to be excited about it? Can I get back? Can I take a break? Can I take a break? Can I take a break? See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord. See what the Lord has done. Ina masakata drawa. Thank you. See what. Just to keep on. Masaka brano bosa na mataya kapenda. Na kapenda zata. What we waited for. Ina masakata brano bosa. Thank you, Jesus. Father, you showed me the rain. That means the blessings are coming down. What your children have been waiting for, let it come. Let it come. Let it all come. That they will come and glorify your name with their testimonies. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Finally, the phrase glorious advancement is a connection or connotes a connection between the divine and the human. It is the divine taking over the efforts of men to become a glorious testimony. A glorious testimony of unhindered progress that's the scripture we started from first chronicles chapter 11 verse 9 and the bible said concerning david he works greater and greater for the lord of hosts the fighter of all fighters was with him i want to release a blessing to you that god released to me on the campground one of the days we were doing the prayer work with our general overseer that the Jew. We were praying in tongues and walking around the camp. And suddenly God said, Son, I will be with you. From that day, Ta, nothing has the power to stop this little vessel of God. I want to pray for you. I know many people have many desires, but my greatest desire is that God should continue to be with me. So I pray for you. My Father, you are the God of all grace. That grace that you will never leave these children or forsake them according to your word. That your presence will be over them continually. Let that grace come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Grace for glorious advancement. Come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Glory and honor be to your name. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. I want to beg you. Another vessel is coming tomorrow. Make sure you are here. God has started something that, and I trust God, the good work he has started, he will complete it in your life. Bring out your offering. We're going to lift it to the King of Glory. Speak to your offering. As 
say my offering I send you an assignment to say thank you to God and to draw down all my blessings beyond that which I have prayed for beyond that which I can think or imagine that the one who is able to do far exceeding abundantly above all I can think or desire, pray or ask for we perform a good work and complete it in my life in the name of Jesus now from today I will make glorious advancement my progress will never be hindered anymore in the name of Jesus Christ thank you our Father because it is done in Jesus mighty name we are praying as you go the King of glory will go before you we open the gates of blessings for you wherever you turn to favor of God will speak for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ by the time you are returning back you will be coming back with testimonies you will not come back empty in the name of Jesus Christ as God intervened in Peter's matter that he didn't return back empty you will never return back empty in the mighty name of Jesus Christ so shall it be in the name of God the Father in the name of God the Son in the name of God the Holy Ghost in Jesus mighty name we have prayed God bless you.